Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com. Welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So today we're going to work with different browsers in Selenium web drivers. So Selenium web drivers support different types of browsers like Firefox, Chrome, IE, Safari, Opera, and Android browsers. So Android browser is nothing but Android's native browser. But currently, Android is replacing our its browser to Chrome browsers. So soon, this Android browser section will completely disappear. Working with different browsers in Selenium Web Driver. So Selenium Web Driver by default support Firefox browser, but for other browsers like Chrome, IE, Opera, we need to separately download the driver from their own websites. So what I really mean about this? So let's open the Selenium HQ.org website. Okay, so I'm the Selenium HQ.org website, and now if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there are different third-party browsers supported by Selenium, like Chrome, Opera, Ghost Driver, Windows Phone Driver, Selendroid, which is nothing but for Selenium for Android, so it's a completely different automation testing tool. And it has Blackberry, Appium, Crosswalk, Qt Web Driver support. So these are the different kinds of drivers or third-party browser drivers supported. So if you go to the Chrome driver, you can see it lands to the Google website. And also the Chrome driver has got its own versions. So this is the latest version of Chrome 3 and you can download all the latest versions from this page. Okay, let me go back. Similarly, for Internet Explorer, you can see the Internet Explorer will have a different driver altogether. So you can download it for 32-bit version and 64-bit version. So right now the latest version is 2.44. All right. So let's start working with the different types of browser in Eclipse. So I'm going to open an Eclipse right now. All right, so this is a normal Java class project. All right, so let me first work with Firefox. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to first create an instance for WebDriver. So WebDriver, so WebDriver is something but an interface driver is equal to new Firefox driver. All right, so I need to add the reference for them. So I'm going to import the package and similarly for Firefox. So you can see that this Firefox driver is coming from org.openqa.selenium.firefox. All right, so now the Firefox is all set to go. And then in order for this Firefox web driver to navigate to a web page, we need to use the instance for the web driver, driver dot. You can use a method called navigate. So using this navigate method, you can actually navigate to any URL. So you can see there is a string of URL or you can use the URL class as well. So I'm going to use the string URL and then I'm going to pass the most famous and popular website google.com. All right. So I'm going to navigate to this web page right now. So let's run this right now and I'm expecting an error right now. All right. As expected, it says it cannot find the Firefox binary in the path. Make sure the Firefox is installed. Actually, most of the time, we install Firefox in C colon of our machine where the operating system is actually installed. But I made a small twist. I used to install all my program files in a separate directory of my machine. Currently, it sits under E drive of my machine. So the Firefox driver is not or locating the Firefox by default. So we need to somehow tell Firefox driver that my Firefox installation is sitting in a different directory altogether. In order for that to be done, I need to somehow set the property for my system, which will be used by the Firefox driver to call the Firefox itself. So in order for that to be done, I'm going to call system dot set properties. Oops. You can see here there is something called set property. So I'm going to set that. So the key for setting the Firefox 
exe path is webdriver.firefox.bin. All right. And then I'm going to set the path. So my Firefox path is sitting under program files, Mozilla Firefox, and then it is under this particular folder directory. So I'm going to paste it right here. All right, since everything should be double slash, I have to put it right here. And put a semicolon there. That's it. So I've set the path for the Firefox right now. And now if I run this, it should open the Firefox for me. And also it should navigate to the Google page. So let's see how it works. So as you can see right now, it has opened the Firefox for me and also it's navigating to the Google's page. Right now it's pretty slow. It takes some time, but it should open. So as you can see, the Google page has opened, which is great. So now you have seen how to work with Firefox and opening a Google page. And now let's see how we can open a Chrome browser. So in order for that to be done, just copy paste this code right here. So here, before working with Chrome, we need to first somehow download the Chrome driver. So for that, just to just go to the Chrome site, and then there is a latest release, which is 2.1.3. So you need to download this Chrome driver. So I have actually downloaded that in my machine and it's sitting under my lib folder. So it's right away, right here. So I'm going to use this Chrome driver. All right. And then again, I need to set the home path for this particular driver. So let me comment this out and then let me paste it right here. Again, it's double slash. So for this property, the key value is web driver dot chrome since we're going to use the chrome driver and instead of bin we should use driver all right and then instead of new firefox driver we need to use new chrome driver all right so let me run this so now it should open me the chrome as you can see the Chrome is open and it is navigating to the Google page. Great. So that's how we can work with Chrome. And let's and last but not least, let's work with Internet Explorer. So these are the three most popularly used web browsers. So I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how these stuffs can be worked out. So here the set property should have a different key altogether, as you know. So I'm going to set it to IE. So instead of Chrome driver, I'm going to use IE driver. So I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to paste it right here. So instead of Chrome driver, I'm going to use this as Internet Explorer driver. Great, and let me comment this out. All right, so let me run this code. So now it should open the IE. As you can see, the IE is open and it's navigating to the Google page. Great, so this is how we can work with different kinds of browser using Selenium WebDriver. So stay tuned for more Selenium tidbits in upcoming videos of this video series. Thank you so much for watching this tidbit. Have a great day.